So today I'm back again with our happy realtor, <laughs> Mr. Kuldeep. You know, this time he finished his first year, right? Yeah. First year anniversary has a new agent. So new immigrant to Canada, new agent, and did some amazing things because you know he blew almost the results like not many new realtors would do. Made like 44 transactions. Yep. 19 million five hundred and something. Yep. Close to 20 million dollars real estate worth volume sales. That's like insane. Not many realtors do that, especially in their first year. So if you're someone looking to become a realtor or if you're someone or not doing that kind of volume, then this video is for you because, you know, we're going to dig into a lot of things, what, you know, he's been doing, how he was able to achieve that and what's his plans, you know, what kind of challenges he faced, you know, what, how he got his first deal, how he got his first seller, how, how difficult was it, how easy was it, you know, all those things. So stay tuned. Namaskar. Welcome back to our channel. This is Aditya Soma and on this channel I talk about how to achieve financial freedom using real estate as a vehicle and you know because the reason is I achieved my financial freedom through real estate and I believe that and I shared the my journey and also a lot of successful people's journey who is you know either new or you know who is doing it who is already done it so that you can achieve your financial freedom the way you want by taking our stories, our journey has an inspiration. So hope that's what you're here for. And if you, you know, already loved my videos, make sure give me a thumbs up. I'm aiming for thousand thumbs ups on this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. So let's dig into the story. Bro, welcome back again. Thank you. So always, uh, whenever I have you on the video, yeah. first thing comes to me is the smile. <laughs> that's, that's awesome, yeah. <laughs> the happy realtor. Thank you. So, you know, uh, before we dig into all these things, mm -hmm. where this happy realtor came from? I don't know. Every time I meet some new client or uh, new people or anything, mm -hmm. not only in this, like even from my previous career as well, I, I used to always laugh. Mm -hmm. So, to say something no, I used to laugh. To oh. say something yes, I used to laugh. <laughs> so, I, I was like, okay, sometimes I put a post saying, oh, writing an offer with a, for a happy client. Mm -hmm. And that's how it came up. So the happy was like a tagline to me. You are trying to help people to get their financial freedom and you yeah. got it naturally saying yeah. freedom agent. Yeah. And yeah. then I'm trying to do something where I'm, my personality is in this way. So I'm trying to get yeah. this yeah. as yeah. a You're happy. always in the present and happy. Exactly. So I love that. Thank so, you. So, you know, now let's get to your story, yeah. your journey. Yeah. First of all, who are you? Yeah. So to begin with, my journey is long, I think I've, uh, so to make it as a short story, <laughs> yeah. I was in Australia from past 10 years mm -hmm. and then I was... But were you Australian? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm an Indian. Okay, okay so to begin, <laughs> to begin my story from there, I was born and brought up in the same village as him, like from, from a village called Padakal. Yeah. And then um, I finished my education, been to Australia as an immigrant and... Struggled there, did my uh, research, what to do, how to proceed my life and everything and then started a business there, successful business, I went doing good money, earning good money, everything was good and then one day I, uh, I, I was, I was like I talked to you, right? Yeah. I talked to you saying, okay, I, I want to change my career and I want your inputs on this. Yeah. He gave just input saying, why okay. Did, why did you talk to me? What made you to look at me? Because, you know, you're already running a successful business. Yeah. Uh, and, and you have a son. Yeah. Which is what, like at this time, before you decide to move, he was like three years old. Uh, three, three years old, yeah. Three to yeah. four years, yeah. So, so he's old, a yeah. small kid. Yeah. Already ha making good living. Yeah. So what made you to talk to me to come here? Okay, it's a simple thing. So I was looking at your lifestyle, mm -hmm. the way you're doing, helping the clients and everything. The videos. I've, the videos, yeah. exactly. The videos, so, so social media, let's say. Yeah. So I was imagining myself, oh, even I can do that. Do. Yeah. When he can do, I can do. Yeah. That's what I was feeling. And then I approached him saying like, okay, I, I want to change my career to this. What are your inputs on this? And then he gave his genuine inputs. No bluffing, no nothing. He said, what exactly you're going to see? He showed me the picture. Okay, this is what it's going to be. You have to come back with a mindset of saying, this is what, this is what, this is what. And then I've, I've decided to move on. Mm -hmm. And so then... Uh, now it's been what, like one and a half year? One and a half year, yeah. One and a half year in Canada. So, have you ever thought, damn, why the F I'm here? 
Uh, no. Not even in the beginning? Beginning, it was, yes. It was very challenging. Very challenging. In the beginning, yes, definitely for sure. Because I was in Australia for uh, 9 to 10 years now. And then the weather is good, income is good, everything was good. Mm. When I started... When I started my career in uh, Canada, I was looking at everything. Whatever my savings was, it's just like an ice. Yes. It's, it's going out. <laughs> Nothing in my pocket. It's, it's, uh, it's negative. And whatever my savings, everything was... I, I lived for six months without any income. Yeah. If actually, I wish, with some debts. Exactly. With some debts, actually. Yeah. If I want, I can work for like a Uber or make some money. Yeah. But I took myself as a challenging saying... Okay, if I start focusing on something else for an income, yeah. then my mo- main goal is going to be disturbed. Yeah. I said to myself like, no, this is what I came for and this is what I have to do. So what was your first year goal? Like, like as a businessman, I know from my past mm-hmm. uh, experience and everything. My first goal was not as a, uh, to earn or something like that. Mm-hmm. I want to learn as much as I can. Whatever I was making there, mm-hmm. if I could make half of the money... Whatever I was making in Australia, if I could make half of the money, yeah. I should be happy because I'm learning here. Yeah, and it's a new one. It's yeah. a new one. Like, you know, new to the country, new to the area, don't know any street name, don't know nothing about real estate. Yeah. I never bought any property in Australia, like, yeah. nothing about real estate. So, we'll touch on that one too. So, it looks like now you got some properties under your belt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half years, some properties. Yes. How many properties? Uh, like, let's say Five. Five. So we'll dig into that in another video, you know, how he was able to do it. Because, you know, that's a, there, there's a lot of people come up with excuses. Yeah. Instead, you look for solutions. Exactly. Because you don't have PR. Yeah. You're still on work permit. Yeah. And you don't have much savings. Exactly. So you found some solutions that are very creative. Yeah. So we'll definitely touch on that. So I know you didn't had a clear number, half of it, what you thought. Yeah. But you know what I told myself? Mm-hmm. I want to replace your income in the first year. Whatever you made, yeah. I want you to make that in the first year. If you remember, I, I told you. Oh, yeah, I remember those days. Yeah, I remember that. So did, we, did we get close to your, what were you making there? Of course, it's more than that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's more than that. So literally, the 10 years of career was replaced in one year. Exactly. And the real estate is a, a compounding effect. You yeah. just started. That doesn't happen. The crazy amount of work you put in. Yeah. Uh, I know it. Exactly. Not many people know except then I think, you know, me yeah. and your family. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's dig into that. So let's go back to, you know, your early days. Yeah. How was your first month? So to begin with, when I came to Austria, when I came to Canada, it's, I only focused on doing what I came for. Mm. And which then, is, which is uh, real estate. Yeah. And then I didn't do anything. No job, no side income, no nothing. Just so you really on focused on one thing. One thing. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. And even while getting into this course, every course I do, I used to feel like, okay, I'm I'm doing in real time. Mm. So that I everything is here. Yep. So like I didn't just study, I felt the study, I felt the course. So that that's how I could I could finish it in like Four to five months, I guess. Yeah, four to five months. Four to five that's months. That's a key, right? Like, you know, many people, they say they want to get into real estate. They say they want to make good money. Yeah. You know, we're going to disclose at the end how much money he made. Uh, but again, over six figures, right? Yeah. Double six figures, not Double one. Picks. <laughs> so to make that kind of money, you need complete focus. Yes. You know, that's what I did too, right? Like yeah. I, I had a huge debt when I started my career. Yeah. But still I said, you know what? F it. Yeah. That will be there. Exactly. If I don't focus completely on one thing and become an expert, yeah. my income doesn't grow exponentially. Yeah. And same thing happened to you. And same exactly. thing, not only just you, like I have seen trained, helped a few handful of people. Everyone had the similar results. Yeah. The reason is not me. It's the reason is you guys who are focused. Yeah. Focused on learning anything and everything about real estate. Exactly. So he put me on a nice and decent property. As a listing agent. Yeah. That is where my career started from. And then he started uh, introducing me to the clients. I talk, I talk to them. And most of them are like new clients who wants to get into the real estate for first time like yeah. me. And then, so me and they were in the boat, the same the boat. Same boat, yeah. So I used to think in their perspective. I used to jump into their shoes and I used to think in their shoes saying like, okay, in which way I can help myself as a first-time home buyer yeah. to achieve their dreams. Yeah. And that's what one of the main successful yeah, That's key. actually a key. Many people say, oh, I don't own a house. I never bought one. Can I still help clients to buy one? Exactly. And the, that point is very important. Like, think about the mindset. 
I, you wanted to buy the property from the day one. Exactly. So you had already intentions to buy. Yeah. But you, at that point, you're not even anywhere close to buy it. So that's why now you're putting, because you already watched so many of my videos. Yes. You got so much knowledge from there. Yeah. And we were networking. We were doing, you know, doing gym together. Yeah. You were asking questions. Yeah. One skill that I love about you is like, you're always asking questions. Yes. You know, if you want to learn, you got to come up with your questions. And ask people who are around you who have done it. Yep. And that's what you're doing. So now you're doing this and you're, you're easily able to relate to them because you know what a property purchase can do for this family. Exactly. So fantastic. It's not just getting like, it's not just making a transaction. It's like you are helping a, a person's dream come true. Yeah. That is a big achievement. Don't look it as a transaction. Yeah. Look it as a person like, you know... The, Buy a property in uh, countries like these immigrants yeah. like us or whatever, whoever it is. Buying a first property is a dream come true oh, for huge. every human being. Yeah. So you have to jump into their shoes to see what are their needs, how can you make them achieve their dream, what are their challenges are. Take everything into consideration, make the transaction happen. So, you know, I put you on that listing yeah. as a co-agent to do the open house yeah. and, and to meet new people because exactly. you know, I want you to get rid of that fear. Yeah. So, and you started talking and you made connections. Yes. How did you got your first deal? <laughs> so, uh, like you were suggesting me to do most of the social media stuff to yeah. promote the property. Yeah. And to be my face on the market. Yeah. So that the people can see I'm um, with the team and, you know, I was on social media and one person called me about that listing. Mm -hmm. And then, so end of the day, I got to know what is your uh, goal in investing in real estate. Mm -hmm. So that home was completely a first time home buyer. Yeah. But this person's goal is not to buy a property for himself to stay. Yeah. So his goal is to invest so that he can make money out of the property or whatever his story is. So yeah. that's the second story. And then he contacted me saying, okay, uh, I came to uh, this property. I was looking about this property. But this doesn't suit me. Mm. And I said like, okay, no problem. We have other properties and I can help you in that. He said like, okay, throw me yeah. the options and then I'll take it out from there. And then we, one of your listing was on uh, Indian Road, 445 yeah. Indian Road. Yeah. So that I still remember, it's my past sale. <laughs> and then this person, he trusted me. Like the reason he trusted me is like, I tried to educate him saying what is what, what is what. And then end of the day, he connected and we yeah. made the deal happen. Yeah. So, you know, it, it took what, like one month? Yeah. One, one and a half month. One, one and a so half month. So, one thing, couple of things that I learned the way you dealt with this client. Mm -hmm. One, you understood his needs very quickly. Exactly. You you asked him so many questions. Oh, bro, you know, and, and you related to him. Exactly. You, you know, this is something many people miss in this. Like, you know, right now the information is everywhere. Yeah. If you don't connect to your client, if yeah. you don't get to know their needs yeah. and give them what they're actually looking for. Exactly. Then you understood that very quickly exactly and i always feel like only one thing to be a successful real estate agent don't try to make the transaction yeah your job is to educate your client educate your client if not this they'll choose other one but show the wrong show the right and show them how can you make the bad things into good yep. just try to educate your client and transaction will happen eventually yep. so that is what we are trying to do in our team. So that's why we are successful. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. That could be oh, one maybe of the... we are. Yeah. <laughs> that could be one of the big reasons. Yeah. So, so, you know, someone coming, a new immigrant here and making this kind of a transactions. Yeah. Helping this many clients, right? Like, you know, majority of them are, I'm assuming, first-time homebuyers. First-time homebuyers, yes. Or first-time investors. First-time investors, exactly. Yeah. So that's like, you know, you made uh, so many people's dream come true. And exactly. it's just the beginning. Yeah. So... What were some of the challenges while in this process? So, sometimes, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's not blaming about the client. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they will take all the inputs and when it comes to reality, signing the offer or something mm -hmm. like that, they will say, okay, uh, okay, we'll try again. We'll yeah. try to sign again. Mm. They'll try to back off. That's because lack of knowledge. It's all about me as a realtor. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't educate my client properly. Enough. Yeah. Enough. So I didn't educate my client enough to make them take the decision. Yep. So that is the reason most of the realtors are behind. Yep. That is the reason we are ahead. The reason is you have to educate your client. Yep. And if I couldn't educate my client, of course, they will be in a uh, dynamo of yep. not taking the decision properly. And that's a very good, you know, important concern that many realtors don't understand. Yeah. Immediately they start blaming the client. No. no. You know, client... 
actually he doesn't know that's why he came to you exactly if not he could go to the market and buy on its own on why the, there is a reason why realtor is in middle of a transaction exactly. to make the deal happen yeah so your job as a realtor is not to open the door and show the property and yes. ask them to write an offer no educate your client about the property yes, that is the main goal for you initially you were little you know okay nervous how do i you know so because you know you don't know a lot of things a right? lot of things so yeah. this is where i feel like where the being part of a good community yeah. comes into play exactly. so what made you to like you know to uh, join the win city so it's it's first thing is uh, i know you you're my relative yeah and second thing is the trust i can see a, a successful path what you have mm-hmm. so that's what believed me saying okay when a person from my village mm-hmm. my uh, like you know we both same used to yeah, same, same background we used to like and same personal the same personality <laughs> every naughty things in village every <laughs> stupid things every good things of course there are no much good things <laughs> at that time <laughs> and then we used to do the same thing so i used to like think like okay when he is doing when he is having a successful career why can't i choose the same path yeah. and do the same help to the community where he is doing yeah. the same things and you know meanwhile i'll be the successful person yeah. as so yeah that's yeah. how i that's got a, to choose you that's a very important mindset you know a lot of people think that they have to figure out everything honestly if i didn't had a mentor in the beginning yeah. i would not be where i am exactly. you know i thank my mentors all the time yeah um same thing you found a mentor yeah. because you now you can relate yeah. you know you can you will find those mentors in different part whichever the city you're in yeah i guarantee you if yeah. you look hard enough yeah. you will find those mentors yeah. who have done it who are willing to help you exactly. so if you find those mentors your journey becomes much more smoother yeah. and faster yeah. because you know very 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 i would say if i go from a statistics point of view not less than 10% of the new realtors make more than 10 transactions in their first year yeah you know what actually that. even the total all realtors out of all realtors in ontario yeah only less than 20% of the realtors make more than transaction 10 ten, 10 ten transactions yeah so you like 4x 5x 5x yeah that's doesn't happen if you're like you know oh you know what i'm going to figure out everything by myself no and and also one thing i i used to notice like in the beginning yeah. you were hesitant to ask for help yeah if you remember the oh first, yeah definitely even though you made your first sale in the first month yeah. it took you to get good amount of transactions it took you 4 5 months right oh definitely i say like 6 6, six months 6 months six months you only made were like 3 or 6 6 or something six transactions or something yeah. like that. and then the next 6 months was uh, exponential very what do you think was the switch so the switch was i was close to my circle saying okay why do i why do i get in interfere why do i start asking questions or why do i i used to have my own limitations yeah. then i said like break it yeah. open come out of the box explore then you know do some experiments yeah uh, and then talk ask ask too many questions yeah like i used to i used to crunch you with all the yeah. questions in the gym like two hours especially in the beginning you were hesitant to call me yeah and i used to like bro you're here if you don't ask me questions now yeah i don't see your reasons exactly and especially this is a problem that i see in many people yeah you have a mentor yeah why don't you ask for help yeah why do you like in the beginning it took me 6 months for me to hear from you yeah often yeah. because you know once you're set i don't have to train you that much yeah. now you can train the team yeah. and that's what you're doing you know how to negotiate and all so and in in the beginning you were also hesitant to do videos yeah now <laughs> Now you're doing fabulous videos. Yeah. What what how did that switch happen? Because why why were you like you know hesitant to do those videos? So I used to be thinking about the perfection all the time. Mm. But you said to me fuck the perfection. That's the perfection. <laughs> never never look for the perfection. And then I used to uh, see your old videos. Mm. They were not perfect. Yeah. Why you're so successful? So your key point is you never look for the perfection. Yep. you want to throw the message that's it yes your goal is to throw the message yep people will connect just for the message not for the yep. perfection exactly so if you can take this message if you have a mentor and especially if you're part of the team you're not i'm not doing a service for you no. trust me you know i told you multiple times you're part of my team and you paying me freaking 50% of your paycheck yeah for a reason right yeah, yeah. so 
you got to utilize that yeah. you got to take someone's help and yeah. get all education yeah. and once you're built yeah. now what now yeah. i'm ripping off the fruit yeah. right so same thing for both of us exactly so in order that to happen yeah. you have to get out of your comfort zone yeah. and also one thing i love about you this is something that you you all can learn you're not hesitant to when i say something to try in the beginning you were hesitant but now you yeah. built a mindset where you know what if my mentor says me if this is going to work yeah. you don't hesitate to work exactly i take every input of yours yeah so um in the first 6 months you were making you know one sale here and there yeah and then all of a sudden the trajectory went from 4 to 6 to almost the what was your highest month 10 Tran- 10 transactions in one month one month what was the switch so the switch is one simple panda was try to get into your client shoes i would have to learn about his inputs like yes. what is his intention to get yep. into real estate if you can't get into that you can't make the sale happen yep. so so you get to know the client exactly and you do something else as well you connect to them yes i connect to them personally talk to them what to do like mm-hmm. most of the things is i'm i'm not i'm not uh, as a realtor to them i'm i'm like a friend yes. just try to be like you know throw every single I used to say to my clients okay try to throw every single question like what is the spelling of realtor yeah. I don't care I'm here to educate you not to that. make the transaction yeah. that's what I used to say and the clients used to like be open to me saying okay every single damn question has to come into my table that's what I used to say yeah. now every client I have they are willing to pop up as a second sale now yeah and that also re- you got so many referrals back from their clients. exactly so and many referrals so not only that You were rated as a top agent in Windsor for what month it was that? Like you have how many ratings in Windsor, uh, in Rate My Agent now? So like like forty 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 thirty nine thirty nine thirty nine yeah the yeah period. yeah rated as a top agent in Windsor in the first freaking year exactly. If you don't create that bonding, those things doesn't come. No, but also not only this too important. Yeah, do one more thing that is the most important. Ca- combination this is like if this one weights 30% yeah. this 70% weights something more what was that what was that <laughs> i'll tell you okay what you're really good at mm-hmm. you find great deals yes <laughs> you are always on the look yes that is true so coming back to his uh, uh, good point if i feel like if i don't go and have a look at a property on the day i'm feeling like i'm off on the day so my job is to go even though i don't have clients on my plate go to the market i'm paying for my board yeah to see the properties yeah so i'm utilizing it going to property even though there is no clients looking at the property taking video tour keeping in my database and if i get a client the reason i made 10 sales in that month is yeah. like every day i used to go even though i don't have clients or i have clients i used to go vacant property or client tenant property book an appointment go to the property look at myself educate yeah. myself if i am not educating myself i can't help my client exactly so that is the main successful key if yep. even though if i make two sales on that day if i don't go and look at a property that means i am off on that day you feel like you are off so yeah. that means you are not working on that day that's that, what i used to feel that's a key you it's like you know literally now you got the formula of the success for us to make a sale successfully yeah build a connection yeah. get to know your needs now get to the work exactly this is the work you have to put in yeah. and that's why i tell you know all my agents like your day from 12 to 6 pm if you're in your office you're fucked up yeah if you're not making sales exactly this 6 hours window how many deals you can find and how many properties can you check even yeah. if you're a brand new agent go check out properties get to know throw on your social media if you like something that is interesting yeah. put on your stories yeah yeah you need to sell yourself saying okay i am here to educate you yeah go you can only educate your client if you can go educate yourself with the market by you, to you yeah if you don't educate yourself to you how can you educate your client so don't wait until the client comes to you okay when the client comes to me i'll go search to find the properties no you go first keep ready everything you have to have your market here yep. if you say a property now and this street most probably i would have known that because yep. i've seen it already exactly and you you also do one more thing 
you talk to the real trust yes so what happened in the last video was we said how we are dealing how we are getting the uh, good deals in good deals in hand and what we are doing and then when i called this guy this guy said to bro i've seen your video bro <laughs> so don't do exactly what you're doing guess what happens because we are on the social media they know us exactly now they talk to you they still give you the information they exactly. help you to exactly. sell that property exactly so you're building connections exactly so how do you see the social media is helping you a social media takes you to the person who is willing to buy a property or something like that you are sitting in their home yeah. you are sitting next to them you are talking to them yeah literally who has a mindset of getting into real estate or buying a real estate something like that they are looking at you as a friend or a, you know you show your lifestyle you yeah. show your um, educate like you know your knowledge about the real estate then the the trust starts beginning at the there yeah. before they come to you they believe in you because yep. you are trying to help so many people yep. maybe this guy might help me as well yep. so that is where the bond starts so trust me social media is the biggest biggest uh, uh, what do you call combination that combination of uh, to make the successful career exactly and even you know when you start to get these people saying oh kulip i saw your video yeah. did you hear that oh yeah i heard that so many times you know you go to temple or you go to any place where uh, you know our community people meet and say oh i know you you yeah. have created that makes you feel proud man because yeah. you're trying to do something and people recognize you who does the money so when you're happy yeah. your productivity goes up exactly and not only that they're seeing you on videos so the instant bond and relation trust yes. everything happened way before then they meet exactly. you exactly so now you have the authority that why we you know ask for autograph for a tv guy exactly why a hero or actor anyone because you, know, you already started the bond with him long exactly. time ago so now they are not going to question you do i have to work with this guy yeah. now they are it's just blindly your job becoming much easier yeah. you don't have to work too much on trusting making the connection yes. you don't have to you know work too much on you know uh, building the trust say that i can do for you exactly what's your goals for next year this second year uh goals for second year um, help develop the clients who i am help so that is one of the biggest goals so if yeah. i help like 44 last year i want to double it up yep help more clients and uh, become a little bit more popular on social media hey you know, i love that <laughs> i love to hear that yeah uh, you know so it it all takes work yeah Just definitely put the efforts and be a responsible guy a realtor is a resp- first responsible person before the clients yep. because you making them pay a big money yeah if you be lifetime. irresponsible you're spoiling one person's dream one person's life yeah not Don't just be person, irresponsible. their life their yeah. family so cuz achieving to their deposit you know saving 5000 is earning 5000 is okay but yeah. saving 5000 is a big yeah two three months two three least. months uh, savings so you're taking lot of their money and they they're trusting you yep to invest money so yep. you have to be more responsible than any any other thing yep so it's like if you do a wrong mistake their life is going to be changed from this way to this way yep if yep. you change a right uh, if you if you do a right thing you can change their life from this way to this way yep so like we, how we how we help a lot of clients they buy within 2 3 months they buy second project yep. again they buy yep. the third project how many clients you have so far who bought more than two property or at least more than one property oh like maybe 8 to 10 clients 8 to 10 clients 8 to 10 clients that tells me how serious you are so for you who is watching understand it's not about the money yeah money will automatically come yeah it's about your client and you how much knowledge you have how much you can you can scope and you can give that back yeah so if you focus on giving back you will get no matter what and i have seen that for myself i have seen you know yeah. for many people who yeah. are always willing to give yeah you were like talking to people even when you're like uh, uh, you know we, we joke about uh, kuldeep all the time you're writing offers even in the <laughs> meetings or meetings, even parties <laughs> sometimes like poker just, night just before the uh, the video shoot so you know that's a dedication yeah. the realtors who put their dedication in who put their literally soul into the work yeah no matter what you will be successful yeah so and most of the times as a seller agent as a buyer we even both fight yeah he will never give up like <laughs> even though my cousin my teammate or whatever he thinks he will never give up for his seller and i'm doing the same because yeah. he trained me so 
I'm doing the same too. And I will never compliment. give up too. That's how it should be. Yeah. It doesn't matter who is the opposite party. What matters is how can you help your, your client? client. Yeah. That's it. That's the fundamental. That's the basic value we as a Win City carry. We yeah. make great things happen for our client. Exactly. So, anything else that we haven't covered? Oh, <laughs> comes into money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so pretty much, I I don't know what else to talk because this is a lot of things for you to consume. Yeah. But again, you know, take it in, do your, t- t- you know, write down whatever you learn. Yeah. And if there is anything more questions you have, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. Go follow the Happy Realtor His Journey. You know, it's so interesting, and I used to follow the people who are actually started with a full force and doing well. Yeah. I follow them and I try to copy that, and I'm not saying you know I I always say. If you watch me or Kuldeep, copy what we are doing exactly with, with your personality in there. Exactly. Don't just exactly do A, B, C, D. You put your personality in there. Exactly. There is nothing we are copying other people. There is always the process is same. Yeah. It's how you do it. Yep. And so how you do with yourself in there? Exactly. With your personality, with your love, with your care. Exactly. Take all the good inputs. When you can hear, why the fuck you want to open the door? <laughs> Come in. You already came in. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Tea break. Now, now lunch is on you. We just spoiled our mood. Lunch is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kuldeep, now we came to the end. Yeah. So tell us. What's no, the it's number? actually it's a beginning of. The money. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. T- tell tell me what's the number. Number. Uh, I don't like. I don't know if I can give the whole year number. Maybe I didn't even calculate. Oh, sure. But one okay. month's number is like in 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 one month. Like we can take. We can say it as a combined thing, or yeah. maybe my just split up. Just yours. I don't want. People don't want to know what the uh, city is making. Okay. Yours. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So my share after all the hard work I put in. Maybe somewhere near fifty-six k. Fifty-six k in one month. month. That was the best month. Yeah. And you had a couple of best months. Oh yeah, a lot of. <laughs> so them. now you can do the numbers. Yeah. How about this? We'll do a contest. Guess how much Kuldeep made in his first year yeah. himself. Yeah. Not as a you know together. Yeah. Himself. Yeah. In the comments. Yeah. Whichever the answer is close. We'll give a hundred dollars to Modern's gift card. Wow, that's that's really good. So comment below. Yeah. And uh, any takeaways? Comment below. Yeah. Any questions? Don't hesitate to reach out to us. Yeah. Go follow. And and, and uh, try to uh, comment something saying what shall we both talk yeah. in next so in, in our next, next video. video. Love that. What do you like to see more from us? So with that, you need more content about this topic. Put that it, put the topic there. We'll try to cover it most probably. Yeah, most probably. And still, the goal is for thousand likes. So yes, make sure to hit the like. Yeah, and see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Peace.